We cross over now to Nigeria, uh, Lagos, sorry, uh, Lagos now for a look at how the markets uh, have performed. The all share index closed down by 0.27% uh, to stand at 33,207.2. On the currency front, we, we saw the, uh, the Naira go, um, uh, the Naira depreciate 158.8. And now let's head over to uh, Lagos where we have Rotimi Fakayejo, who's the MD of Enterprise Capital Partners, to get some detail on the day's trade. Rotimi, it's very good to have you on the show today. Yeah, it's good. Uh, good evening, Didi. Great. Now let's start by discussing uh, the performance today. We saw uh, a drop in the index, and one one gets the impression now that investors are getting increasingly anxious, obviously because of the lateness that we've seen in company results. Do you agree? Yes, I agree fully with you. But uh, being that as it may, we still saw a good volume today of about three hundred and fourteen million. Uh, the, a turnover of about 3.3 billion naira, uh, though the index closed at uh, 33,207. But at the same time, I think uh, the market still did well, in spite of the loss of about 0.28 percent. Um, the, there is so much apprehension about the late coming of the results, because uh, the, for the post listing requirements um, ensures that uh, companies turning their results at the 90 days after the, the end of their financial year. But up to now, we've seen very few, as in Nestle and, um, and uh, Nigerian bureaus. But there is none uh, of the financial banking sector stocks that has released their results. So it's a lot of apprehension, uh, apprehension in the market, and uh, investors are taking it coolly. Okay, now let's take a look at uh, what's uh, a comment that the CBN governor made yesterday. He, of course, made mentions of the gains that we've seen in the equities market. However, he did say that that was largely due to hot money from foreign investors. Now we know that foreign transactions in the NSC have exceeded 50% of total deals since 2010. Uh, do you think the authorities need to do anything to... Uh, uh, to mitigate the downside risk to the equity market in the event of a reversal of inflows? Yes, it's, uh, there is going to be serious impact on the market should there be a reversal of flow out of Nigeria. Uh, we've seen that money create a lot of positive impact on the market. We've seen the index move significantly since the inflow started uh, uh, at the end of third quarter I mean, first quarter, uh, fourth quarter of last year. And uh, that act actually had a lot of positive impact on the market. But going forward, uh, because there is a uh, free exit and free, free entry and free exit of such funds, should there be a reversal at any point in time, it's going to deal a devastating blow on the Nigerian market. And, uh, and I think uh, the only way that this can be mitigated is if uh, per adventure we have a situation whereby there is more local participation, which will be able to checkmate this at any point in time. But be that as it may, for now, the situation that we are in is such that there is no way such fund will flow out, will flow out of Nigeria without creating a big hole in our market. Mm. Now, moving on, I'd like to focus on the news uh, that I heard today that said that the uh, NSC has ordered operators in the Nigerian capital market to stop a daily distribution of capital market information to clients. Now, um, uh, talk us through what's going on. I mean, a lot of investors rely on uh, this information that they receive daily. And I mean, if, if, um, if they're not going to be getting this information, do you feel like this could have some negative effect in the short term, especially as we're trying to draw in local investors back to the market? Well, they, uh, for, the, for what is said by the uh, management of the NSC today concerning the, uh, the data available from the capital market by way of price list to capital market operators, which they freely get for now. And uh, the stoppage of that is definitely going to uh, deal a negative impact on the market. Because uh, every day, most clients will log on to the website of their uh, various stockbroking firms, and they will see the performance of the market for that day. And that, this always uh, uh, brings about a good decision for them to prepare for the next day. But in the absence of this, we are by stockbrokers, we have to buy such data from the, uh, from the stock exchange. 
And I believe strongly that a lot of them, because of the cost, may not want to do that. So at the end of the day, we're going to have a situation whereby such information may not be available on the website of most stockbroking firms. And I think definitely this is going to reduce uh, clients' participation in the local market. Now, as you mentioned, of course, we're expecting the release of results from the banks. Uh, you know, there's talk that we might see some results from the likes of GTB, uh, maybe Unity Bank this week. It'll be great to have your expectation for dividend payments in this earnings season and the type of yields that investors should expect. Well, I, the, we've seen uh, a couple of results in the likes of uh, Nestle Foods and uh, Nigerian breweries giving out as little as about, uh, giving a yield of a, a dividend yield of about 1.8% in each of those cases. But I want to uh, assure that uh, from what we've seen in the third quarter results of the financial uh, services sector stocks, we are definitely going to have it much better coming that way. And I think by the time those results come out, we will see an average of about 6% dividend yield coming from each of these banks. And I think that we definitely uh, reassure investors of the, uh, of the continuity in getting a reasonable uh, return on their investments vis-a-vis uh, -vis, uh, stocks in the financial services sector. So and I think uh, maybe with the way it is now, there is, need, there is an urgent need for those results to be out quickly so that we, are, we see life come back to the market. Because now the, the, the market is sort of down in terms of activity and a lot of people are just trying to uh, stay a while and see what is going to happen next before they uh, put their money in any of these stocks. So we are seeing these uh, do drum in the market for now, and I believe by the time we get at least one of the results that is very good, then definitely there is going to be a turnaround in the market. And we're oh. going to see the index uh, going higher than what we have for now.